In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the lockbox gem to securely store credentials in your database. And when you pull them out, you'll be able to de-encrypt them. And the best bit, it's like one line of code. Let's, let's jump in. Storing data securely in your database is really important. The example I'm going to use in this video is an API key. So for example, if someone signs in using OAuth, you're going to be given some API credentials to maybe make some calls on behalf of the user to an external service. And if someone was to get a copy of your database with those keys, like kind of unencrypted, they could probably do some pretty nasty stuff and it will look like you're doing it, which is not good. Another example you could use is if maybe you're storing like email content or messages, it's probably worthwhile encrypting some of those messages, like the content. So if someone was to get in, they couldn't just see every like private message within your system. In Rails, we have a few ways of doing this. So in the past, I've used ATTR encrypted, which is pretty nice, but it's looking for new maintainers and hasn't been updated in a while. A more modern gem is Lockbox, which I really like, mostly because it has really good documentation. And we're gonna go through it in this tutorial. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a field into here. Um, we're gonna call it API key um, in our model. That's how we're gonna to talk to it. But in here, it's gonna be API key underscore ciphertext and it's gonna be encrypted. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so the first thing we need to do is add the gem to our gem file. So bundle add lockbox. That's just gonna add it to the end of our little gem file and, and it's gonna bundle it. Fantastic. Let's have a look at that. Cool, there we go. You can see it right there. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to generate a key. And this key is going to be used just to like, encrypt all of our values. So if someone doesn't have the key, they can't see the actual underlying value, which is there. So yeah, that's super nice. Let's do a uh, bundle exec rails C. And I'm just going to run lock box dot generate key that's going to give us something nice and random each time which is quite nice and it says here we can add this to either our environmental variables using like an emv this is where i normally add environmental variables so that's pretty cool but we can also edit our rails credentials or set up an initializer where we set it somehow like this for this tutorial i'm just going to add it into my emv file or I have like my Redis and database stuff. So what is that? Lockbox master key. I'm just going to copy this in. And we're going to give it the one we just generated here. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create a migration where we're going to add the new field. And it's going to be using the word ciphertext at the end of the field. So we're going to use API key in our case. So let's do bundle exec rails g migration. And we're just going to write add API key ciphertext <laughs> two posts. And we're going to try and use the rails magic here to just generate all of it for us. Let's have a quick look at what this looks like. There we go. Got a nice field in there. So I'm now going to run bundle exec rails db migrate. Okay, uh, now we have that field there. Uh, would it be really good if we could actually use it for something? <laughs> so let's let's tell our model about that field. So we're going to go into our post model and we're going to type in crypts and then we're going to write API key. And this is just going to map to that ciphertext field and it's just going to encrypt it when we save and load from the database. So let's have a quick look here. I'm going to pull this across. And if we were to go and have a look at our last post, you can see we have a nice API key field there. So let's do post dot last dot update and let's just do api key hello world okay we can see right here that it's gone and saved 
and encrypt a value to the database. We can see that there, which is nice. And if we were to go pull that down again, it's also filtered it from the logs. However, if I was to do like post.last.api key, you can pull it out and it unencrypts it. So that's really cool. So I hope you liked that episode. I really love playing around with this, these kind of gems because it works with everything and it's super up to date. It was last updated four days ago. So I'm, I'm really excited about this one. And if there's anything you want to learn, uh, just add it into the comments below. Make sure you smash that like button and share this with anyone who's interested. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.